Leviathan. This starts with a violent end. What is going on, YouTube? This is your boy Hawk, and today I'm bringing you guys a. I don't even know what the heck that. I don't know. I just found these gameplays on my hard drive. Um, but yes, it is good to be back I'm making a couple of videos for you guys. I have some Black Ops 3 gameplays that I forgot. I completely forgot I had, so I might as well upload some of those for you guys for some a bit of entertainment. Um, just because I've been noticing that I've been getting emails of people still still subscribing to the old YouTube channel, still checking it out, and I'm just like I feel it feels dishonest of me and misleading uh, to have that YouTube channel there and just not be uploading on a consistent basis. Hopefully, Black Ops 3 will be the motivation I need to get me going. Um, to get back to doing videos consistently. Now that's, I need some motivation for that. I don't know why, but I just feel like Twitch, I've been focusing on mainly on my Twitch for people that follow me on there. You guys know, uh, I try to stream at least, I've been streaming consistently a few days. I don't have a schedule, uh, just in terms of how my work schedule is. I didn't want to like tell people days and then have it all changed up the next week. So whenever people follow me on there they, they get notifications or they see the twitter or the youtube upload for it uh, i usually see a lot of the people the same people over there which i'm really really happy about but anyways let's talk to you guys about a bit of uh black ops 3 uh hype or whatever you know and uh obviously everyone played the beta if you didn't play the beta you really really missed out um a few of the things that i weren't looking forward to i'll mention those things first so it is a Treyarch game, so you have to be aware that the connection and some of the kills, um, you know, there's some things lost in translation just due to the, the difference in pings among players and different difference in connections and areas and locations and where everyone is globally connected to or the proximity to servers and stuff like that, as nerdy as that sounds. And, uh, you know, I, I get bullshitted a lot in, in instances, especially where I am the one that gets first shot on. My first shot may not be entirely accurate as you know I was expected to be, but I did get first shot on, and then it's just like whatever gun they're using, even if it's the same gun as mine, I get shot on. I know, like I know my reaction. I'm okay. I'm 26, right? You know, I'm, I know my reaction time is a little bit slower than you know, say a guy that's like 14, 15. Let's just say let's put it that way. The kid that maybe he's been playing for a year or two years. He's a beast at Call of Duty. Maybe he'll shit on me, right? I'm, 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 I'm accepting the fact that some kids are just gonna straight up poop on me. But for the guys that I'm, I'm on target on, and I'm hitting them first, and I just get shit on. That's something that's gonna piss me off. Just knowing the connection with Treyarch games, you know. Even though I enjoyed Call, Call of Duty Ghosts' connection, that's other than that, everything was also, everything else in that game was ass, other than chem strikes. Um, yeah, uh, specialist streaks. Not a fan of. I mean, like the specialists loadouts you know having the golden gun the invisibility the rejack you know poof, you know they pop up in the middle of the smoke and shit like that not a fan of any of it not even the war machine i did have some fun with the war machine and the minigun i used that a little bit not a fan of the specialist abilities whatsoever um it was fun you know to pop those every once in a while for hard point and you can just go and clear out a hard point by yourself but aside from that fact, I didn't enjoy using or having those things being used against me. Um, in terms of ah, what else? There's something else that really ticked me off in that game. Um, the wall running is really it's momentum based. You can really feel it in terms of if you're good at you know stringing along you know runs, run wall runs, and you know you know the map fairly well as opposed to a new player. Uh, you'll have a much easier time getting around. I mean, we play the beta map so many times that we know all the nooks and crannies, little hiding spots for people like the camp. So when we do play those four maps, we're going to know everything about them. You know what I mean? Um, but for new players, you're going to get shit. <laughs> for all the guys that just pre-ordered Black Ops 3 or just get it on that day or haven't played it, y'all, they're going to get shit on. Um, so I'm going to enjoy that. Return, uh, sorry, there's no skill based matchmaking, so I'll get that into things that I'm looking forward to. I'll do that later, a little bit later on. But let's just focus on the things that we're not. And one thing I'm not happy about whatsoever is the inability to customize the way my character looks. I do not enjoy, after playing Advanced Warfare, I do not enjoy looking the same as anybody on my team. Don't ask me why, I'm very specific in terms of, I want, my, I want people to know that it's me. 
and I want you know I have my character all geared up and suited up the way I want him to look or her to look and not all be the same flipping character so that's I mean I understand they had that from a specialist standpoint I mean people are going to choose the same ones but I want my character to reflect me how I play or whatever you know how I want them to look in advanced warfare I could deck my character out with whichever you know make him look badass with put on some gunners or whatever and just run and, run and gun or do whatever in, in ranked play or whatever we're playing at the time. Um, so I'm not a fan of that. So let's get on to the things that I am excited for from Black Ops 3. So, you know, I can't believe I'm actually going to say this, but I am actually looking forward to playing public matches in Black Ops 3. I repeat, public matches in Black Ops 3. Not a fan of them in Advanced Warfare, there's too much BS. I remember in early on in the game when you know you would get EMP'd or whatever or you'd get system hacked and you were just you know if you're playing against a good team you're playing solo say your friends aren't on and you get system hacked after system hack after system and you're just sitting there like what the fuck is going on you know you, I'm not gonna make it fun of that kid actually but anyways yeah that I'm looking forward to playing pubs I'm looking forward to their arena mode I am also looking forward to streaks doing work and uh, playing pubs, you know, trying to drop whatever, however many kills, fastest amount of time. And I'm looking forward to seeing, um, I'm not a fan of pub stomping, but I'm looking forward to seeing the guys, you know, that I used to watch back in the day that played MW2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2. Seeing like, you know, Ozirik and Scrub Killer, maybe, you know, who, who the hell knows? I hate the guy, but maybe I might even watch a couple J Nasty videos, who freaking knows? But I'm looking forward to seeing the return of, you know, actual pub stomping, not fucking bullshit reverse boost. I'm tired of that bullshit. I mean, any, any, to me, no thumbs could get a reverse boosted account and drop like 60 DNAs in like an hour and be like, yo, look at my, yo, look, look, look what I've done, you know what I mean? So, looking forward to the return of actual pub stomping, actual excitement with that. I can't sit there and watch uh, big bolts or soul appear and be like oh my god this is amazing gameplay i can't do it man you have to pay me you can't pay me enough money um to sit there and be like oh this is entertaining bro <laughs> oh my gosh i can't wait to watch the next live stream huh? like no nah. um in terms of what else i'm looking forward to zombies i'm not really a huge zombie player but i am interested in seeing the uh, you know treyarch's new twist and what they're gonna do with zombies and uh um, I'm actually, you know, I'm going to have fun streaming zombies and playing it with friends. Hopefully some other, uh, you know, friends or teammates decided that they want to pick up the DLC as well. Um, and we can enjoy that. So that's another thing that I'm looking forward to. Aside from that, let's see. Um, every gun that you use in the beta, you know, there seem some guns are better than others. Wow, better than utters? What the hell is going on here? Some guns were better than others, but, you know, you could get away with using a different gun in each tier and still, you know, drop numbers, you know what I mean? I could use, I could get away from using the Razorback, use something else, get, still get a fair amount of kills, and still have a fun time doing it. It's not just like in Advanced Warfare, where competitive is like, you know, the BAL, the ASM-1, and you can't really, you know, you're playing pubs or something, and you can't really do very well outside of those two weapons. In black ops 3 it felt like to me if you have a certain amount of gun skill you can do well with any gun and you know still have a good time with it you won't get you won't be at too much of a disadvantage depending on the gun that you're using um so yeah i'm gonna leave this video unedited as i've been you know lazy and slacking on youtube so fuck it who's, who's gonna spend time editing a video i mean i got streams to you know set up and get ready but i'm gonna thank you guys uh thanks for everyone that's hung out in the live stream, you know, I'm going to leave the link down below, so head, help, check me out there. And if you're wondering why I'm, I haven't been posting videos, that is the reason why I want to focus on my stream. I've debated closing down YouTube and just deleting the channel altogether, but I'm like, it's not fair to people. So go check me out on Twitch. I'll see you. Peace.